Hi, it's Sarah here from Crafting and Stamping and I'm back with another quick card. And for my quick card today, I'm using my featured pick of the week, which is the um, gold satin aged ribbon, vanilla and gold satin aged ribbon. This is a great ribbon to be able to use for all sorts of projects. Um, in particular Christmas, it works very well for Christmas. And I'm using it today with our Lights Aglow DSP. So this I featured last week and I'm still using it here today. For my card base, I've gone with Early Espresso and I'm using Early Espresso for the ink as well. But this would look equally uh, good with Merry Merlot. So Merry Merlot, Gold and Vanilla go really well together as well. So I've cut a card front layer of the Lights Aglow paper and this is three and seven eighths by five and a half and I've just cut some pieces of ribbon two that are a bit longer than the length and two that are two a bit longer than the height and I've not actually measured these I can tell you that the shorter one is six inches approximately it's just under six inches and the longer one is about eight inches so we're going to be using that i've also cut myself some sentiment layers this one is two and three quarters by one and a half but i've cut that particularly to fit this sentiment this sentiment is from the brightest glow set just a simple merry christmas and I'm just going to stamp that, as I said, with some early espresso ink. And you could make this a different size to fit your sentiment. So get that inked up. And I'm just going to stand up so that I can see where I'm stamping. There we are. So I'll pop that to one side now and we'll sort the ribbon. And I'm going to be using um, our tape, tear and tape here. It's tear and tape, so you can tear it, but I still cut mine. And I'm just going to place it on the back of here, I'm popping it about um, two squares down, like that. And I'll cut another couple of pieces. You could do this with other ribbons, but I particularly like this vanilla and gold to go with this paper. And as I say, I'm going to be using this this week in other ways. So I've just put my tear and tape on the back like that. And we'll peel that off. If you don't have the fingernails to do it, the take a pick tool helps a lot with that. So I'm going to pop that on there like that. And I'm going to pull that across and I want it fairly tight, but not pulling. So I'm laying it down and then fastening it like that so that it's fairly tight. Uh, it's pulling up just a tiny bit, but when we adhere that to the card, that will straighten out. So I'm doing the same thing on the other side. And I'm just going to make sure that I've got that even. And if you've got some lines in the background like I have here, that just helps you to keep it lined up, keep it straight. So again, I'm going to lay that down and fasten that over like that. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the verticals. 
So I'm going to cut some more and I'm just going to make sure that this creates kind of a square in that corner and another square here in this corner. Same thing here. Again, creating a square just by eye. As long as it looks fairly square, it's going to work. So again, peel off the backing of the tear and tape like that. And like I say, same thing, making sure that that looks square. Passing that over, get that laid down and fasten that back on itself like that. Same thing obviously on the other side. And I'm going to take a big tool, can't get my nail under there. And you'd be able to do this with um, plenty of other patterns of the Lights of Glow paper. So, not laying it down because I can stick my, if I'm not careful, I'll stick my paper to the table. There we are. So, there is our card front now. So now we can fasten this and I do want to make sure that I've got tape in these corners. So if I need to drag it to the edge, I will do. So make sure I've got plenty. So I'm just going to make sure that all of my corners are tacky because I want to definitely make sure that I've got those fastened down. So this is my landscape card opening on that side. And now I can lay that down in the middle like that. And I prefer to just turn over and press from the other side like that. I've got a little bit of adhesive that's come off the side there. Just rub that off out of the way. Now I'm going to pop this onto my card mat that is cut just a quarter of an inch bigger on both edges. Like I say, you could do this in Merry Merlot and it looks great as well. So some dimensionals now, pop them in the corners and in the centre. So double check my cards opening the right way. And I'm just going to centre that between my ribbons. Just got a little bit of adhesive on there and I've got an old eraser there we are and that is our quick card for today so have a little look in your stash see what ribbon you've got um see what DSP you've got that go together this works particularly well like I say this is from the lights of glow set uh the lights of glow sweet should I say so let me go back to that. So we're using the Lights of Glow DSP and the Golden Vanilla Satin Edged Ribbon. And that gives us our card. Please do subscribe to my channel below so that you get to see a quick card every Monday and a quick tip every Friday. Thanks for stopping by.